What's up everyone, Brent here. In today's video, we are going to continue our video series of how to host your very own free online server, begin playing with your friends, and this is going to be part two of setting up your server with plugins. We're gonna start off with the Essentials X plugin. So this is essentially going and installing the Minecraft Essentials X plugin on your Spigot server hosted over on Eternos. Now I've been using this to kind of play with some friends, but just having it standard vanilla is kind of boring when you have so many exciting plugins to load. So we're gonna go ahead and kicking it off. We're gonna be starting off with the Essentials X and how it can be used to kind of increase the fun of your server. So that is what we're going to be covering today. If you are brand new to my channel, have not yet subscribed, definitely go down below, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up if you find it fun and entertaining. And of course, if you have any comments or questions at any time going over this video, or would like to share what plugins you use on your own PC, server or on a public server let me know down in the comment section below i'm always looking for new plugins to take a look at or mods to kind of try out and check out so me and my son play and i think it's really exciting to be able to configure and customize your server to how you want to play so let's go ahead and get into the video so right now i jumped over into the eternos dashboard this is where we can kind of see our server now we are running a very standard server where we have a few friends that can connect plug in and just kind of play on a standard Fundella spigot server now if you loaded you know this will work with whatever you know if you're running vanilla vanilla minecraft doesn't have any mods or plugins that you can use but if you load paper or spigot you can load some plugins if you load forge you can load some mods we discussed the differences between paper spigot and forge and vanilla vanilla no mods forge you have to have mods on the client and server in order to run and paper and spigot you can load plugins that are not required to have plugins and mods on the client side so they can just kind of join into your server and have fun so kind of going off there because we do have spigot loaded on Eternos, we are able to go down and we find a plugin folder here. Now, right off the bat, they kind of list a few really good ones up front, which we'll be loading here in today's video. I'm actually gonna be starting with two. We're gonna be loading Essentials X and we're gonna be loading Vault. Vault isn't really needed, based off what I've seen in the past when I've loaded Essentials X, but when I look at their website, they do recommend, highly recommend, that you load Vault along with the Essentials X plugin. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just right click and open it in a brand new window. That way I can kind of leave that window up. In this case, we just wanna load the latest one. So by clicking here on the little checkbox, it's going to be loaded on your server. Now within about five, 10 seconds, you're gonna get a little check mark, which is now shown there and we should have that now loaded on our server. Now it doesn't show any information here as far as requiring the Vault plugin, but if you do click on the link here and check it out, now down here towards the bottom, requirements, you'll see that, let me go ahead and zoom in just a tad bit there. The requirements here is it, the Essentials X is designed to use a modern permissions plugin. Now they recommend using luck perms, but you know, that's what they recommend, but that's only recommendations. Now, they also say that you also need vault for prefix suffix support. If you're trying to abbreviate your commands using the essentials X, you will need the vault plugin. If you don't, if you're not trying to abbreviate or set prefixes and suffixes to your essentials X plugin, you don't really need vault. And I think maybe for this case, I'll load vault just to have it on there, but I'm not going to be adjusting any sort of prefixes or suffixes in this video. And then of course it has here, essentials X currently supports bucket, spigot and paper, which is the recommended use and other server implementations may work, but are not recommended as they may cause compat compatibility issues. I found a really great page as far as breaking down as to what the package comes with. Okay, so the breakdown of what this plugin comes with is it comes with the essentials, which is basically just the heavy hitting piece that controls everything, the general signs, the economy API, and a bunch of other pieces that kind of stitch together. Now it does come with the essentials chat, which you're able to set colors and specific permissions within the chat system by using that piece. I always recommend keeping chat around. There's also the essential spawn. This allows you to set homes, set spawns, set different little 
areas where when people are initially joining your server, you'll be able to kind of change and set up your own spawn location. I think this is a really good one. I don't see anyone ever having to delete this one. Now the anti-build, this is one that I've actually had issues with in the past. I don't have it installed or use it on my servers just because when I've joined with an anti-build or protect on, it somehow restricts every single thing to the world being able to be edited by other players joining the server and if you don't delete it right off the bat it seems to cause issues so here it says it's a build permission system it's a permission that allows you to restrict who can build and where to place and what can be used you know preventing players from placing lava but world edit and world guard are actually our world guard is actually a better plugin than using the anti-build and then we have the essentials protect which is basically a world protection system that allows you to set up basic rules on the servers to abide by in order to prevent creeping you know uh, what's it called sieging and destroying buildings and griefing griefing it basically prevents griefing but you have other mods such as the grief prevention mod that will kind of load in the future and then we have a couple other ones. I don't ever see XMPP loaded on this mod. We'll take a look at it in Geo, GeoIP. It tells where the location of where the player is logging in from. If you're interested in that, I'm not too interested in that. So we'll be removing a few of these. So I'm going to go ahead back into my files, actually. And now that we loaded these plugins in here, we should have a plugins folder located here within our files. So by selecting the plugins here, we should have all the plugins here that we loaded. We loaded the vault, which is down at the bottom, and then we have the other ones here as well. So right off the bat, I wanna go ahead and begin deleting some of these, such as the anti-build. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes to delete that. And then we're gonna go ahead and go down to GOIP. I don't need to know where everyone's, whoops, did I click on the right one? Right there. Yeah, I don't need to know where everyone's logging on to, logging in from. I think there's other plugins that can do that a little bit better. And then we have the protect too, which is right there, which I can delete that one as well. So I've had a couple issues with the, the anti-build and protect mods in the past where I would join the server, have them active, and then my kid joins the server or my friends join the server and no one can build anywhere, even if they move out of the spawn location and I unlock that plugin in the future it just doesn't allow anyone to mine so that's not what you want to do so those are the plugins that we have loaded up now I can go back here as well and load up the vault one I just right click open it in a new tab and here because we're running 1.16.2 this is the version that is recommended for us to download so I'm going to go ahead and select the little download icon there and it's going to go ahead and give us a green check mark letting us know that it has been installed now if you're interested in what the vault plugin does it does give you a quick summary of what it does vault is an economy permission plugin so it kind of already mentioned as far as permissions you'd want to use the luck perms you know for permission plugins but you can also use Vault for this. So Vault over here, it does kind of give you a better breakdown of what it does. Vault is a permissions chat and economy API to give plugins easy hooks into these systems without needing to hook or depend on each individual plugin themselves. So it does allow everything to kind of hook in with each other and be used a little bit easier. So Vault attempts to solve these issues by being intuitive and providing plugins with support for any system that they may use. So now we're going to go ahead and start up our server. So right now it looks like it's creating the config for the plugins essential. So that is where it begins to kind of set up the folder within here. So now if we were to go into the files location, now into the plugins, we would see a folder here called essentials and within the essentials folder we would have the config the custom items the items the kits that it comes with so there's a lot of stuff within here it holds all your warp data if you're trying to set up different warps within your world then you can definitely use that as well so we're not going to be going through and setting up the full essentials because essentials is a gigantic package of setting up different spawn points setting up different kits setting up different checks uh, chat color set up different warps so we're going to go ahead and cover just a little bit of what you can set up and kind of move from there okay so our server is officially online now we have spigot loaded if we go down into our plugins folder 
We now have the Essentials X plugin and we have Vault and Salt. We can verify this by going down into our files and into our plugins. We should also have a new folder created called the Essentials folder. This is where we're going to have the configurations that we can adjust with you know, for the Essentials X plugin. Now we're not going to be going through here today and adjusting the configuration file, some items, the kits that players get once they enter our world, the message of the day, the spawn information or other information. In this video, our main objective was to load the Essentials plugin and the Vault plugin. We also have the Vault folder down here created as well, where we can go ahead and take a look at the config, but we'll, we will do that in an upcoming video. Now our server is currently Currently online so I went ahead and set up a little bit of a spawn point here now right now I'm loaded in I have my other screen loaded in so let's go ahead and bring both of our screens up on online now I'm on the right hand side I am an operator so I'm able to swap around in creative mode I set up a makeshift spawn right here so I'm gonna go ahead and put this as my spawn point and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right up on here and verify this by setting my spawn. Now Essentials X allows you to set up spawns. It has a ton of information. You can go ahead and type slash help and you have 17 pages of information pertaining to help with either Vault or the Essentials X plugin. So if you wanna go ahead and jump into the next pages, you can go ahead and go through each page and kind of take a look at what each page is able to do. You're able to use pay in order to pay players on the server. So if you wanna pay the other player here, Sneaky J, you would enter the player name and the amount. So if you wanna pay him 100 bucks for some item that he had that you would want, you can do that as well. Now, we haven't configured anything within the Essentials X plugin. So I am here, I'm an operator, but this character is not. He just joined the world uh, I set up the spawn point. Now the thing with the Essentials X is you have to go through the configuration and actually do quite a bit in order, you know, not quite a bit, but you do have to do a little bit of hands-on inside of the configuration and some of the other areas in order to get it to work properly. If you just join a game, you know, if you have your friends join your game and they go ahead and type in help, they do not have access to that command. So we're gonna get into the actual configuration of the Essentials X plugin in the next video. So we are not able to use slash bond, we can't use slash help, we can't use set home. We're not able to use any sort of functions because of the basic help function being disabled. Uh, we don't actually have access to anything else. So that is going to be it for today's video, you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, of course, remember to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, go over anything that was discussed in today's video or what you would like to see discussed in our upcoming Essentials video where we go over the configuration, go ahead and drop that down in the comment section below. But besides that, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.